the Democrats have most certainly got themselves in front of uh, the facts, and it's going to come back to bite them once again. He is helping run strategy for President Trump's campaign, a campaign he says will remain focused despite the impeachment inquiry. Mark Lauder, the strategic communications director for the campaign, was in Boston today. When I spoke with him, Lauder said the Democrats have made a mistake moving from the Mueller investigation to the impeachment inquiry and says he argues the president is being held to a double standard. Every day that ends in Y. For the last two and a half years, they have been seeking to impeach President Donald Trump. You're going to hear statements like this today, for instance, from Judge Andrew Napolitano. A Trump's act of corruption with Ukraine is the most serious charge he's faced. He says that it is a crime for the president to solicit aid for his campaign from a foreign government. I would disagree with Judge Napolitano in terms that he was, he is looking to deal with corruption. You actually had, remember, Joe Biden went to Ukraine as Vice President of the United States and said, if you don't fire a prosecutor who has happened to be investigating a company tied to his son, I will withhold $1 billion in loan guarantees. That was a different situation, though, because many European leaders had all asked and talked I'm to the I'm not aware that any of those European leaders had a son who was working for the company that was being investigated at the time. And so you have to look at this broader context. As soon as they ask him for help time. with defense, he says, but I need you to do me a favor. So isn't that an implicit well, if you quid look, pro quo? You're you, not going to get the money when you unless look at you the, look into when Joe you look Biden at, for me. When you look at the transcript, it was actually the president of Ukraine who brought up Rudy, Rudy Giuliani first. It was not brought up by the president. The president was responding. When you are the president of the United States, we have to deal with these corruption issues. We have to deal with issues of potential foreign interference in our elections. But he didn't ask about foreign interference. Well, he, he did when he was talking about, about when, when he was talking about the issues that I think it's referred to as crowd strike and other right. things that are going on in that transcript. That is what that is in reference to. What do you think about Governor Baker and Lieutenant Governor Polito not supporting the president? Oh, I think that's a choice that they have to make on their own. Uh, but I can say that you know Massachusetts is succeeding. It's doing well, and it's and it's doing better under President Trump than what it had been doing in the past. Nobody has a crystal ball, but how do you expect <laughs> this whole impeachment inquiry to go? Well, I think it's going to be, it's absolutely a, a witch hunt again. Uh, this is the latest attempt for them to try to do this. But if the Democrats and the leaders and the squad and Nancy Pelosi are insistent upon dragging the country through that, I think the Senate will uh, do its duty and the president will be vindicated. A lotter adds he does not believe it matters if President Trump's Democratic opponent is Joe Biden or Elizabeth Warren or anyone else because he believes the Democratic field has aligned itself with very unpopular positions. Liam? Paula, thank you.